reading all my little cuddle up kittens, lions, linuses, and whatever you happen to be tonight. Uh, Caddy, you're with you tonight, feeling well, a bit winterish, and I'm happy about that. Well, if you hadn't already seen my winter coat video that I did, um, that was recorded at night, same night I'm doing this, and I had some a lot of thoughts about winter gear because for me this has been a very important part of my furry concept uh, what what got me into furry what made me really fall in love with fur uh, garments and stuff like that um, so I remember when I was little, the first few times I saw winter coats with fur trimmed hoods, I was enthralled. When I first saw a winter coat with fur lining, I was floored with how lovely that looked and wanted to wear it. And was bummed that almost every single one of those was a women's jacket. And I was not going to be allowed to wear any of it. Especially not the ones that had fur on the outside. Oh, why did they have to all be girls? So, one of my first quests was, in my sewing procedures, was I added pink fur trim to a hoodie, which I still have that one. Um, at the time, I could only find a pink hoodie that would barely fit me, which fits me a little better now. I've lost weight, so that's a good thing. Um, but it was an okay hoodie. Uh, I've made several other ones uh, over the years where I like a lot better. They were just basic bodies. I have one's pullover. It's made of the same uh, short pink material, the minky, that this coat is made out of. The same fur trim, just only lined with satin as opposed to lined with plastic fur. So it's warm, but not super warm. Um, I also made one out of uh, fleece. Uh, with the same fur trim, and that one I wear a lot out, especially. Well, it just started hitting the, uh, the 60s here, so hopefully tomorrow it's going to be that cool and I can wear that shopping tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Can't see it there in mittens. They're crossed, I promise. Um, and I also went around the process of doing things like making gloves, mittens. I I loved the idea of having a fur-lined mitten and a satin mitten at the same time, so I patterned myself out. I mean, it's a mitten. It's not exactly like it'll be rocket surgery. And they're really cozy. They turned out well. I did commissions for uh, some of these and the earmuffs, which, okay, that, that turned out to be a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, Make circles, sew them together. In the middle, put a strap that's going for around the back, a strap going around the front. Put elastic in there. Ta-da! You, you've invented earmuffs. This is not hard. A little polyfill on them to poof them out a bit. Figure out they actually fit on a lion's ears like this. Be excited. <laughs> um. Now I made a couple of winter coats, this one being one of them. Um, I really love the idea of lining it with the extra soft uh, pink fur that I, we made Daisy's body out of. And it feels really good to be in it. Uh, it's super, super snuggly. Um, I made another one a few years back that is fur on the outside. Uh, not, not quite as dense as Daisy fur. But it's pretty dense. Uh, a couple of different colors and textures. And I've lined out with satin. And it's not quite as warm as this coat, but it is a lot more flexible. Because uh, this is a little harder to do things like try to maneuver in a car than trying to fit in the seat of a car. Because I'm already not a small person. Adding the padding of this coat, it does add a little bit of that. You know, hard to mode. <laughs> uh, so that other coat being a little more flexible is a little more doable. And you don't necessarily need the like zero degree coat if you're going to be driving to the store and then walking right to the store 
the only thing we have the more we need to be to get in, not to be out. This is, this is mostly for out walking and whatnot, uh, or shoveling the snow or whatever. Um, and well, of this code I originally didn't just make the way it is. Um, I had to use uh, one inch batting in between the two layers. Uh, number one, that was way too warm. <laughs> I do not live in Alaska. I do not live in the ultra Arctic. I do not need a coat that is that warm. Uh, also, uh, it was perfectly formed. I did cut it to the right shapes. Uh, if you ever watched a uh, Christmas story, you remember the kid who was like had his arms stuck out and couldn't move? That was kind of me. I can move them, but it's like I'm fighting to move. This is too much, so I cut a seam open, pull all of that out, and I was like, "Okay, this is fine. This goes better now. It's, it's perfect." And yes, I did initially do this with a color because I'd done it based on a piece of art. And I'd made a hat to go with it. Uh, also lined in the same fur, you know, same stuff. It's a fun hat and all, but I kind of missed the idea of the hood, and it did leave my back of my head for uh, not being a windbroke object. So the hood was a needed upgrade, and I'm really happy with that too. Uh, so that's the thing. Um, I really love being able to go out and pink fluffy warm things out in public. Uh, if you can't guess, I do it kind of to flick my nose out at all of the prudes who would look at a boy and say, why are you wearing pink fluffy things? Be like, whatever, I'm being me. I am getting to be fluffy and pink. What are you doing? Being boring? Browns? Blues? Huh. Ain't nothing fun about that. Hang. <laughs> um, so yes, I definitely look forward to any weather where I can wear something warm and cuddly out in the public and show off more me, because it makes me feel more special. Um, and yes, those of you who are watching the video of the outfit I'm wearing right now, I did make the uh, snow pants uh, last year. Uh, they've only had one year to be played with so far, and I hope to get to wear them out again this year some. Uh, but warm and cozy, I finally added that to the repertoire. So I can be 100% pink from head to toe and all warm and cuddly, and that's a fun thing to do. Um, and I like going out on walks like this because, well, excuse to be out warm and cuddly, excuse to go out and enjoy the cool weather. Because I love cold weather. I love being out in a warm thing in the cold weather. Uh, it's usually really quiet. Nobody else wants to go out in it. And like I have the whole world to myself. Unlike right now where I'm scared to leave the house. But that's an entirely different story. I miss you outside world. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> okay, I do go shopping every week. So I do see the world a little bit. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, that's some warm, cuddly thoughts for you. I hope you're all going to wear something fluffy and pink this year for winter. Uh, don't be scared. Be you. I rarely get any bad comments. If anything, uh, most people ask me where I got this stuff. And usually I'm really proud and answer, I made that. I sewed that all by hand. No patterns. Which is actually true. I never use pattern for any of this stuff I figure out shapes, measure me, and decide how big I need to make those shapes. And that's how all my sewing comes to be. <laughs> um, like technically, I guess I made a pattern for the mittens, I, but I drew that by looking at my hand. I didn't like go buy a pattern. I drew a, a paw, and then I cut it out, and I sewed it together. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, sounds fun. Um, so I definitely hope you all be cuddly and snuggly this winter and 
fall or spring, however long it's cool enough to wear warm, cuddly things. Uh, I want to thank you for you know liking, commenting, and subscribing, and a little dingly bell. I like the little dingly bell. And YouTube likes when you hit it to it, lets you know what I do do in a video. And if you're so inclined, my Patreon link is down there in the description. Uh, a penny that you give helps. And I do appreciate every bit people put in, and I do give you a little bit more control over my videos if you so put any money in. And, uh, well, I guess that's all for tonight. I uh, hope you all are staying fluffy and snuggly, and I will see you again next video.